Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel, and today's Sunday, it is time for a shave. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. Well, it is that time of the week. It is time for a shave. Today's shave soap is going to be by Shannon's, and this is Coconut Lime. I'm also going to be using my beautiful Trotter's Handcraft brush. Whew, look at that baby. Woo. All right, I have that lathered up. I don't have the matching splash, so I'll be using what's left in my Sterling Unscented Glacial Aftershave. And today's razor is going to be the Blackland Saber. And this one is all stainless steel. And I do believe uh, yesterday they were uh, bringing this one back. This one is the uh, number two plate. And so um, this particular razor uses a single edge blade like this. And no, it's not a window scraper. And you cannot use a window scraper blade in it. I did a video on that. I'll put a link in the description. And so the top cap comes off just like every other three piece razor. And you're just gonna set that uh, down on the top cap. It's got the little tabs here that hold it in place and the um, not so round threaded stud. And then you just put the plate back on there very carefully and get to threading that baby. Now you do have to take a little bit of precaution because the threads on there is only maybe half. So it can want to start. Um, and if you're a He-Man, you may cross thread that and create some damage. I do have that whipped up in my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl and there's no reason to put a scent profile on there. Uh, it is a nice lime and coconut scent. And I picked this brush because it kind of has a little bit of a lime and orange and white to it. And I don't know, it's pretty cool, I think. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and lather up here for pass number one. I haven't used this razor in a while and it's actually on my chopping block. So if this is something that you're looking for, <clears throat> excuse me, I will give you a deal. It has the, uh, well, I have the original packaging for it with the, uh, the older Blackland logo. And that may be something that people are looking for. So keep that in mind. If you see someone or hear someone that is looking for such an item, let them know I have one. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the razor here and get the shave going. No pre-shave today, as you could see. And I did get a haircut. <laughs> this razor is pretty smooth. Uh, and it's efficient. It is a nice take on a old style razor. I guess you could say this is a modern razor with a, um, a vintage approach to shaving. And to be honest, the reason I'm uh, getting rid of it is because it uses the single edge blades and they're a little bit difficult for me to uh, pick up. And I know that you can get them. But being that I have thousands of DE blades, uh, it's just so much easier to grab one of those razors
and I have this little blemish here and it's just sticking with me. What a nice shave. Have you guys picked up any new shave gear? I actually might want to put a little bit of water on my face. Didn't quite pick up enough. All right, and let's get lathered up for pass number two. I'm not very talkative today, so I apologize to everyone. Something I could mention is every time uh, around this year, year, this time of year, uh, we have a local uh, barbecue competition. There's the lather, nice. And so let's see, what was that Friday night? We had a football game, and then on top of that, we went to the barbecue cook-off, which was enjoyable, but I really should have brought a chair with me because I can't stand for a whole length of time. After so much time, I just my back starts hurting, my leg starts giving out, and sitting on people's coolers are, is not the best idea. So I did feel that a little bit. Plenty of residual slickness. I forgot to show you the soap. Oh well, that's okay, right? The one thing about the barbecue competition that I always thought is kind of crazy is, you know, you've got everybody up there competing. And a long time ago, uh, they used to give out samples. So you could go around and try everybody's mixes and rubs. And that was pretty cool. And at some point they changed that to where you can't do that any longer. So you walk around and you smell all this awesome barbecue and you can't eat it. The only thing that you can eat is if you have a buddy that's up there competing. Uh, you can snack on his stuff. Because it's like, a, I think Sunday is the last day. And it starts on Wednesday. There's multiple categories that they do. Here's Adobe. <laughs> she must hear somebody coming in. But, uh, yeah, so you can't, the only thing that you can uh, do is they have a little booth for 17th Street, and that's the uh, people or the, you know, host of the competition. And so you can buy theirs, but, you know, 17th Street's there all year long. And it's just kind of neat to walk around and talk to the guys that are competing and stuff. And every year I tell myself, I want to do that, but... Uh, it's one of those things where <clears throat> it would really be beneficial. Like one guy or two people could do it, but if you had, you know, a team of five or six people, that would be ideal because like, say you're doing uh, pulled pork, you know, you, the judges that come through, they want their own pulled pork. They don't want you just to have one pulled pork sample for everyone because they want to pull the bone and all this kind of stuff <clears throat> there's like a, a variety of things that they uh, judge you on and so that's where having a team would be nice i've got the big smoker and the know-how but unfortunately most of my friends are already on other teams and so uh Poor me, I don't have enough people for a team. I'm gonna use my ice cube stick here and I did a refill on it so the uh, the ice is nice and flush. And like I've said uh, several times before, the ice cube is uh, 
man, for post shave routine, it's really helpful for me as long as I can remember to do it. On the videos is usually whenever I get distracted and I forget about it. So let's grab the old Lancaster black sheet towel. The only downside is you get your shirt wet, but it'll dry and it'll be fine. So the shave is going well. I'm going to grab the splash here. And I always shake my splashes because I'm a creature of habit. And let's grab some of that. No scent, just menthol. I love it. And... I have sad news. Um, my last bottle of star jelly is no longer with us. So I have to reach for my other star jelly. Uh, and it has been sitting up here for a little bit. So let me wipe a little dust off. Little dust off of there. And it is nice and full to the top. Oh, wow. I should count. Uh, I should make a little, I don't know, sheet or counter and put on there how many times I can actually pump out of that. There's probably an easier way. I could probably weigh the empty bottle, weigh the full bottle, take a pump, and then weigh it again, do a little bit of math and figure out. I might, I might do that just for fun. So now I have to add one pump back into the formulation but all right that is the shave for the day i will put a picture right here for your viewing pleasure and i'm glad you guys stuck with me and shared your time with me and i just love the way that star jelly feels when it once it's dry it's like there's no uh slickness or greasiness to it it just feels like you know nice like your skin but anyway I will see you guys on Will It Shave Wednesday. You have a great rest of your weekend.